All right, so the Hyundai Ioniq 5 um, died. It was not unlocking. It wasn't um, starting, obviously. <laughs> you couldn't open up the doors. Uh, you couldn't close the charging door. You couldn't do anything. The charger was actually plugged in at 100%, but I guess the um, back door was open a little bit, and that killed it. Um, so what you do is you will have to get in your car so you will take your key fob um, push on this your manual key will pop out of here so you'll use your manual key which i'm sure you probably have done before right there you'll use that manual key now it's open but you basically i'll use this one you push this in manually it'll be closed on yours you push this in and your little um, the key outlet will be here. Just open up your door. Um, obviously your car will be dead, but, uh, you'll go ahead and open up the, um, the hood right here. Just press on that. Once you press on that, you can open up your hood. And this is all opened up right now, but, so, this will be covering that part right here. So, this will be closed on yours. This will all be closed, so you'll see that when you open it up. Um, that looks like it's the battery, but with this one, you just open up this part. This will be here, and then you can see it says open right there. Just You'll kind of have to pull on it a little hard, um, but you'll kind of snap it off. Um, this is, you'll see right there, this is the positive terminal. Um, that is technically the negative terminal. Uh, so, um, I'm actually jumping with another car. <laughs> I don't have a fancy, like, whatever, uh, little box thing. So what you do is you take your positive terminal, connect it to the positive right here, um, on your dead car. So it'll be your ionic positive onto the positive. You'll take the other positive, um, don't touch it to metal or anything, but take the other positive, connect that to your working car um this will be shut off so connect that to the positive terminal of your working car you take the black cable which is down here um i connected that to the negative right here so you just you know on it so once that's connected you'll take the other one which is on the ground <laughs> but You'll take the other one, and ideally you would connect it to the... You wouldn't connect it to the negative terminal because it's a little dangerous. It'll, it'll, it will spark, um, which can be a little scary, and it can actually cause an explosion because this battery, if something's wrong with it, will release hydrogen gas, so you can, you can explode. Um, I initially tried to connect it to the vehicle, um, like the engine base, but and it actually sparked a little bit that way too but um it wasn't um, successful it was not starting that way so i actually had to retry again i did have to connect to that it sparked but i had to connect it um once it's all connected you will start your car that actually works <laughs> um start your car that works and i did have to actually have it run for a second before this would turn on um so once it was running for a second. Um, once my working car was running, this finally, the dash lit up. Um, so I knew it was like trying to start up. <laughs> and be aware, uh, if your door is open and your car is locked or anything like that, if your any of your doors are open, your alarm will go off. Um, so just have your key fob ready, have your key ready. Um, just be aware you're... you're um, it basically wants to set off the alarm, so you'll get a notification on the app for sure. But yeah, so, um, I was just able to push the button. Now we're kind of sitting here with the, um, battery. So now the larger battery is working. Um, so we're kind of sitting here just to make sure that, uh, it kind of charges up that 12 volt battery. Cause that's what actually died. 12 volt, the smaller 12 volt battery. So I'm just sitting here. Um, we put it in utility mode. I learned this on a, some other guy's video. So to get to utility mode, you put it on, click EV, click settings, and then you go to utility mode. 
and you can activate it. It's already on because I activated it. Um, that'll make it to where you can kind of sit here and it's not draining your DC battery. It's actually running off of a larger battery right now. And it's, it's kind of like if you were back in the day when, or well, still now, if you're using a traditional car, not an electric car, um, once you kind of start up your car that was struggling or that the battery was dead, you kind of want to like either rev the engine or kind of like drive around the block to get it, to get your battery going. Um, but he said, yeah, you don't do that with this car or if you can't, you can't. So you just, uh, let it run for a second. He recommended like 30 minutes or something. I don't know if it's necessary, but here I am. Um, but yeah, and uh, it was fully charged. I didn't get a notification that the battery was draining. Um, I didn't get any sort of notification about that. As you can see, it was a hundred. It was a hundred percent, actually. Um, the charger was still in the door, um, but yeah. So uh, the door was just cracked open, I guess. So I and, and it just killed that twelve volt volt. Alright, so that's it, I guess. Alright, bye.